welcome to the Real Outdoor Experience. I'm your co-host Carlin Riley. Today we're talking about hiking for beginners. So you've decided to go hiking and good for you. It's a great outdoor experience for your whole family. It can be done really economically with minimal equipment, with zero training. All you have to do is get on the Google, check out a few things, look for equipment, perhaps at uh, outdoor stores, online, check out some trail maps and decide where to go. That's all you have to do. Real simple, real easy, and we're going to walk you through it right here on this episode. Water is an absolute essential. You need to bring water with you. You need to bring enough water with you for everyone, including your pets. You can carry it in water bottles or a water bladder. If you're planning on going on a very long hike, you may want to consider a purification system or a purification tablets. Don't ever drink the water that you don't know is clean. So if you find yourself in the bush overnight, by accident of course, Good thing to have a flint along and a knife. That way you can make fire. Simple, easy, cheap, don't forget. So we start a little teepee here, grab some dry leaves, put it in a big bunch, and it's as simple as just striking the flint on the leaves. And if you have the right materials and it's dry, you'll have yourself a fire. Keep you warm at night, it can help you cook anything that you brought along or that you found in the bush. When you are researching your hike, make sure you look at the level of difficulty. Consider the people that are going with you. Consider your abilities and your experience level. And take a look at the demographics of the hike. To ensure that you have a great time as a beginner hiker, you should know exactly what to expect when you go on these hikes. No matter what the season, no matter what the terrain, be prepared. Another part of the hike you want to consider is how are you going to properly cross water. If you're not prepared to cross water, this could be an absolute miserable time. So you've made it to the trail, you have a great idea of where you're going, and you see these markings on the tree. What do they mean? Well, they're blazes. If you're going to use this more traditional style of marking a trail, it's best to know exactly what it means. Check the signs at the beginning of the trail or do research prior to entering the trail to know exactly what these blazes mean. Although most trails use exactly the same marking scheme, there are extra signs you may see along the way. These ones here are for an ATV trail. Don't get confused. So now we're talking about hiking and hiking for the beginners. We're going to run through a little bit of the gear. First I have my uh, trusty walking stick. Walking sticks you can make out of any lumber that you have scrap left in your house. Hockey stick handle works great. In my trusty knapsack here, some insect repellent. I use the, uh, the variety with DEET. Uh, for your kids, you may want to use something a little bit more natural if you don't want to spray the DEET on them. I find for me, uh, the DEET is the best alternative because uh, it is a proven and true method. I also have some Benadryl. If we happen to run across something that uh, isn't too happy for our bodies, isn't too healthy for our bodies, that is. Um, also some, some uh, sunblock in case we get into some bright areas out there. Some afterbite if you uh, react to the mosquitoes or the bugs. I would also strongly suggest that you take a look at the area that you're hiking in. If you are in an area that, you, that is known for ticks, please check that out. I'm wearing light colored clothing today. It's good for spotting the ticks. Ticks usually reside in areas where there's a bird sanctuary or a lot of, a lot of waterfowl and they love the long grass. They'll be hiding in the long grass. So with regards to equipment, equipment can make or break your hike. Specifically, the toilet paper. Toilet paper can make or break your hike. Trust me. You want to have some of this in your pack. It's easy. It's compact. And put it in a bag. The bag can double as a survival tool. Believe it or not. You can use it to collect stuff. You can use it to collect water if you need it. Also, I bring a first aid kit. First aid kit. I just have some simple items in here. We'll just check it out quickly. Again, just a simple Ziploc bag. I have a presser dressing. I have a survival blanket. This may help you over the night if you have to spend the night out in the bush. This thing could save your life. I have some just regular band-aids. A triangular bandage to make a sling or to make a splint. And I have a disposable ice pack. Simple, but can save your life. Also in my backpack, I have a sweatshirt, just in case I get cool. Uh, it can also help you overnight if you, if you have to stay, unfortunately, in the bush overnight. Uh, and I have a can of tuna, just a tiny little can of tuna. Doesn't require any tools, you can just pop the top here, great survival tool. 
be prepared when you go on these hikes. Uh, a lot of times in the media you hear about people getting stuck out in the bush overnight. If they're not prepared, sometimes those things can go wrong and, and that's not what we want to have happen to you. Another thing you may want to consider bringing along with you, depending on the level of uh, difficulty of the trail, is a map and I put it in a Ziploc bag because you never know if it's going to get wet. I have my trusty iPhone here that has a compass on it, GPS. Please make sure that these items will work in the area that you're in because sometimes you don't get signal. And you can also buy a, a regular GPS handheld unit which works on satellite reception. You can also stick with a trusty map and an old school compass. They'll never fail you. One of the many considerations of hiking for the beginner is to check out plant life. Please make sure you know what poison ivy looks like. A lot of people don't. A lot of people get into the poison ivy and it can be nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. What I'm going to do for you right now is I'm going to put up a picture of hogweed. Hogweed can burn the skin. It is extremely dangerous. Don't let your pets near it. Don't touch it. It's not good for you. Here's a picture right now. Check this out. Thanks for watching this episode on Hiking for the Beginner. I'm Carlin from The Real Outdoor Experience. We hope you enjoyed it. There's lots of great information on hiking out there. Check it out on the internet. Check it out with your friends. Check out the maps. Take your family out. It really is a great time. It's simple, it's cheap, and you'll have a fantastic time with your family in the wilderness. This wilderness here, we're up in the Bruce Peninsula, uh, Bruce's Caves. It's really close to Wyerton, Ontario. Not very far a drive. Take a look. Thanks for joining us. Keeping it real.